angel is saying to you. Life does not always go in a straight line. Things get messy and tangled, and our paths twist and turn in many directions. The right things happen at the wrong time, and opportunities get passed by. Some things happen that we just cannot understand in the moment, no matter how badly we want an answer. And some things that we wish would happen just never do. Life can be a little messy, but that does not mean that it cannot be wonderful too. Because even in the messiness, even in the mistakes and missed chances, even in the midst of not knowing what to do or where to turn, there are still so many beautiful moments. There is still love and joy and light. There is still laughter and kindness. So maybe life is messy, but maybe it does not need to be anything else. Maybe it is in all of the messiness that we can see all of the things that matter most of all. You don't have to be brave every day. It's okay if some things and events in your life are uncertain right now. It's okay if you are afraid of what is ahead. Tell your heart that it is human to feel that way. Allow yourself to take your time. Believe that even in this changing phase, life has a purpose and you are going to be okay. Remember, sometimes just by showing up, by being willing to walk that extra mile, by putting that one foot in front of the other, you show courage. You say to life, even though I don't know the right path, I'm still going to make it through no matter what. It's okay if life scares you right now and you don't really know what to do next. It's okay if everything seems to be hurting and all you feel is anxious and worried. And it's okay if you are hopeless about everything. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All these feelings have value and you don't have to pretend like they don't hurt you. Our greatest strength lies in our ability to acknowledge our pain, things that hurt us. Remember, everything that you are going through is temporary. None of them are here to stay. But when they leave, they will leave you as a person stronger than ever before. So let yourself feel all that you need to feel. Do whatever you feel necessary for you to heal yourself. It's okay if it takes time. It's okay if none of it makes sense right now. So much of your life is unexplainable. Why does the timing always seem to make sense? Why do you gravitate to certain people and not others? Why something you want to happen so badly doesn't, only to come back around exactly when you were about to give up? There is so much magic in this world that cannot be explained. You are part of the magic. Your life is an experiment. Uncertainty is part of this adventure. The journey you're on is asking for your trust. Trust in timing, in yourself, in the unfolding. Embrace that you're not meant to know the whole plan. Embrace the surprises and detours. Maybe the detour you are fighting against is about to open up a whole new world for you. Maybe the teaming you can't trust is going to bring you exactly what you desire when you're most ready to receive it. Maybe there is so much more here that cannot be rationalized. The magic of your own life becomes so beautifully apparent when you start noticing it. So fix your eyes there. Notice how life continues to delight and surprise you. The deepest form of self-care is building a life you are in love with. And that is often a very beautiful thing. It means making a spreadsheet of your debt and enforcing a morning routine and cooking yourself healthy meals and no longer running from your problems and calling the distraction a solution. It means looking your failures and disappointments square in the eye and re-strategizing. It is not satiating your immediate desires. It is letting go. It is choosing new things. It is disappointing to some people. It is making sacrifices for others. It is living in a way that other people won't, so you can live in a way that other people can't. It is becoming the person you know you want and are meant to be. Someone who knows that salt baths and chocolate cake are ways to enjoy life, not escape from it. If I've learned anything from life, it's that sometimes, the darkest times can bring us to the brightest places. I've learned that the most toxic people can teach us the most important lessons. That our most painful struggles can grant us the most necessary growth. And that the most heartbreaking losses of friendship and love can make room for the most wonderful people. I've learned that what seems like a curse in the moment can actually be a blessing and that what seems like the end of the road is actually just the discovery that we are meant to travel down a different path. 
I've learned that no matter how difficult things seem, there is always hope. And I've learned that no, matter how powerless we feel or how horrible things seem, we can't give up. We have to keep going. Even when it's scary, even when all of our strength seems gone, we have to keep picking ourselves back up and moving forward because whatever we're battling in the moment, it will pass and we will make it through. We've made it this far. We can make it through whatever comes next. Sensitive people are the most genuine and honest people you will ever meet. There is nothing they won't tell you about themselves if they trust your kindness. However, the moment you betray them, reject them or devalue them, they will end the friendship. They live with guilt and constant pain over unresolved situations and misunderstandings. They are tortured souls that are not able to live with hatred or being hated. This type of person needs the most love anyone can give them because their soul has been constantly bruised by others. However, despite the tragedy of what they have to go through in life, they remain the most compassionate people worth knowing and the ones that often become activists for the brokenhearted, forgotten, and the misunderstood. They are angels with broken wings that only fly when loved. Get to know yourself better, and you will find yourself having no choice but to become your own greatest admirer. The more you explore the truth of who you are, the more you will be interested in yourself. You will never get bored of yourself when you open the portal to your inner world because you can keep discovering hidden gems. You know so little of your inner resources, and that is why you feel like you are not enough. You have no idea how abundant you are until you dig deep inside yourself in search of your essence. There is so much that you can be proud of and grateful for when you just go inward. You will be surprised to see your immeasurable worth. You have your own charisma. You have phenomenal characteristics, virtues, and qualities. You have special gifts, talents, and abilities. You are far more extraordinary than you could ever imagine about yourself. You are a rare treasure beyond priceless. Value yourself and all that you are. Know that there is no reason to be your own worst critic when you have a lot to offer. You've been through a thousand things in your life people don't even know about. You've experienced things that have shook you, changed you, broke you, built you and taught you to be stronger than you ever thought you had the ability to be. And you are who you are for all of it. So the next time someone judges you based on a small part of what they see and how they interpret that, remember who you are. Remember how much you've overcome and smile and keep walking because you don't have a single thing to prove to anyone else. You've already proved so much to yourself who muddled through storms that people didn't even see because of how you carried yourself. Beautiful girl, I've watched you. This year, I've watched you grow. I've watched you evolve. And I've watched you transform. This year, I've watched you fall. And every single time, I've watched you get right back up, stronger than you were before. I've watched you struggle. But I've also watched you overcome some incredible obstacles. I've watched you learn how to focus on yourself, fight for yourself, and fall in love with yourself. I've watched you become this beautiful light, this beautiful soul, and this beautiful woman. And I've watched you build this amazing relationship with God. Beautiful girl, listen. I know that you're ready for what's next. I know that you have so many goals, so many plans, and so many dreams. And I know that you have so much ahead of you, and so much that you can't wait to accomplish. But today, just for a second, reflect on this year. Reflect and just think about how far you've come. And when you close your eyes tonight, I hope that you feel so proud of yourself. To the woman who believed that this year would be a year of peace and genuine love, I'm sorry that these days, weeks, and months have been so unkind to you. I know it may not feel like it at times, but you are magic. You are what happens when a dream decides to go to war with nightmares. You are a symbol for strength and survival. A beautiful moment of life deciding to continue onward even through hellfire. I hope you're reading this right now. I long to reach you. I hope you know that inside lives everything you've always needed and that you have always been more than enough, even when others decide to overlook you. I hope this next year is kinder to you. I hope you continue to fight for all that you deserve. I know it hasn't been easy, but I like to think that you are stronger than you've ever been. 
You won't have to look for any signs when your soul is ready to step into a new chapter. They'll appear on your path at the perfect moment. You won't have to question whether or not you're going in the right direction. Your intuition will have already confirmed that for you. You won't have to force a connection with your soulmate when they first arrive. You'll feel right at home. There's no need to panic when the universe is your number one supporter. What's meant to enter your life will show up as naturally as your next breath. What's meant to stay in your life will conquer any obstacle to remain by your side. Your fear encourages the belief that you're not worthy of your dreams. Your faith encourages the belief that you're worthy of so much more. Do what's right for your spirit. Nourish your faith. Starve your fears. It's not easy to be positive all the time. Some days you will feel like you just can't do it anymore. You want to give up on everything. You feel like you have nothing to live for. You feel like your efforts are going to waste. You feel negative emotions. You are around people that make you feel negative, and you just think, how am I going to ever handle all this? But wait, if you take a moment to think about the bigger picture, you'll understand that all that you fought for will never go to vain. The universe works like magic. You pay a price for something, you get it back, and ten times more. So hold on to your goodness. Try to be as positive as you can. Smile at your haters. And think about something that makes you smile or feel better to keep yourself distracted from the negativity. Try your best to stay away from the negativity. You might not be able to do it all in one go, but taking it slow, step by step, is still good enough as long as you're moving forward. But know this, you are destined to have a happy ending after everything you've been through. Creating a life that reflects your values and satisfies your soul is a rare achievement. In a culture that relentlessly promotes avarice and excess as the good life, a person happy doing his own work is usually considered an eccentric, if not a subversive. Ambition is only understood if it's to rise to the top of some imaginary ladder of success. Someone who takes an undemanding job because it affords him the time to pursue other interests and activities is considered a flake. A person who abandons a career in order to stay home and raise children is considered not to be living up to his potential, as if a job title and salary are the sole measure of human worth. You'll be told in a hundred ways, some subtle and some not, to keep climbing and never be satisfied with where you are, who you are, and what you're doing. There are a million ways to sell yourself out, and I guarantee you'll hear about them. To invent your own life's meaning is not easy, but it's still allowed, and I think you'll be happier for the trouble. Most of my life has been spent trying to shrink myself, trying to become smaller, quieter, less sensitive, less opinionated, less needy, less me. Because I didn't want to be a burden, I didn't want to be too much or push people away. I wanted people to like me. I wanted to be cared for and valued. I wanted to be wanted. So for years, I sacrificed myself for the sake of making other people happy, and for years, I suffered. But I'm tired of suffering, and I'm done shrinking. It's not my job to change who I am in order to become someone else's idea of a worthwhile human being. I am worthwhile. Not because other people think I am, but because I exist, and therefore I matter. My thoughts matter, my feelings matter, my voice matters. And with or without anyone's permission or approval, I will continue to be who I am and speak my truth. Even if it makes people angry, even if it makes them uncomfortable, even if they choose to leave. I refuse to shrink. I choose to take up space. I choose to honor my feelings. I choose to give myself permission to get my needs met. I choose to make self-care a priority. I choose me. It is quite simple. Nothing that is meant for you will ever get away. Love deeply and without the need to possess or own. Let beautiful connections pass through you without attachment. Slam your heart into the pupil and the places and the things that ignite something deep inside of your soul. And I promise, I promise the right things will stay. You will never lose what is for you. Please don't ever forget that. For the longest time it feels like I have been trying to make sense of life, but now I see there is no sense to be made. 
only life to be lived. There is no set purpose to fulfill, there are no checklists to complete, just an ephemeral moment to breathe, to love, to be kind, to feel. Life is in all the simple little things that we so often overlook. Uncomplicate your heart. Be here, be present, embrace your own journey. There is so much beauty and wonder to be found right where you are. Take chances with people. If you want to get closer to them, make sure they know you want to spend time with them. Go to have coffee with them, text them first, make them feel loved, tell them little things that you love about them. Most people find it hard to make the first move, both in friendships and romantic relationships, so a lot of potential relationships never happen. Life is too short. So go for it, because more often than not, it can make life brighter and softer and happier. Listening to yourself takes an immense amount of courage. We don't talk about this enough. The world is so loud. It'll tell you exactly how to be, how to look, how to exist, how to work, how to be good, how to be bad, how to do anything and everything. What it won't do is encourage you to listen to whatever feels right and true and light and warm within you. It's the hardest thing, to find a slice of solitude quiet enough for you to hear your own needs, wants, desires, thoughts. It takes so much bravery and self-trust to follow what feels true instead of what you should do. It's brave to grow when the world seems to want you to conform. It's brave to do what feels right to you when it seems like everyone else is going in the opposite direction. It's rebellion. It's going against the tide, the status quo, and I want to commend you for doing it. Because it's hard. Sometimes it's lonely. But most of all, it's intensely rewarding. A lot of the bravest things usually are, and I hope you have the courage to see endings as beautiful, transformative stepping stones. I hope you have the courage to let love, and opportunity move through you like rain. To not grip or seek to change it, to not ask people or circumstances to be more than they can be for you. I hope you have the courage to see endings as the cornerstones of the chapters that changed you without needing them to be a part of the rest of your story. And when that is done, I hope you have the courage to give yourself closure, to be your own home, to be your own safe place. I hope you have the courage to not let the losses destroy you, to not let them burrow into the heart of who you are and convince you that you failed or that you are unworthy of the happiness you are standing up for in your life. I hope you have the courage to see the way in which you loved and tried and fought for something as a testament to just how deeply your capacity to feel is, just how beautiful moments can be when you appreciate them for what they were instead of nullifying them or letting them harden you to the world. Please, I hope you have the courage to move forward. I hope you have the courage to walk away with grace. Subscribe our channel to help us reach 500 subscriber. Please donate in the name of God through super thanks. Donating money never decreases, it always increases. When we give cheerfully and accept gratefully,